hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a what I got for my birthday video so I turned 27 on Tuesday and I cannot believe that I'm 27 and I also can't believe that I've been doing videos like this like of what I got for my birthday video since I started doing YouTube almost, which is like years and years and years. So it's one of those videos that I, I do enjoy doing most years, but I feel like I've had a couple of years off it. So I wanted to like get back into that zone. These used to be really popular on YouTube and I'm not sure how popular they are now, but I do still like watching them when I see them pop up. So even though this is like retro in terms of like YouTube, I did want to show you what I got for my birthday in terms of presents. And then I also wanted to just share what I did. I was gonna vlog it, but I ended up not charging my camera battery and yeah I ended up just not vlogging but I will tell you everything that we did and I've also taken loads of photos so I can like put them around just in case you're interested but I definitely wanted to memorialize this on my YouTube so I can look back in years and remember what I did for my 27. So I'm going to do the presents first because that's what I did first thing when I woke up um, on Tuesday morning and full warning some of these presents are going to look really random and really stupid but they are like exactly exactly what I wanted. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So me and my boyfriend have a bit of a running joke that every time we go to a different supermarket I like to try and get the craziest shaped pasta. Um, we eat a lot of pasta. Pasta is definitely my fave in the whole entire universe and I feel like we've kind of run out of crazy shaped pastas. So one of my presents from my boyfriend this year were some crazy shaped pasta. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure these came off Amazon. They were in an Amazon box, so I'm sure that they did. But look at those. So they're like, I don't even, like. they're like spirally spaghettis, but they look like they've got a hole through the middle. So that's so exciting. And we've got these, which are, um, I don't know, they, they're just, crazy and then we've got these which i've ha actually already used um these are radiatore uh, i can't pronounce the other ones but these ones are, they're just crazy shaped i just love a crazy shaped pasta because i love cooking and i love making pasta dishes so yeah that's a random present but definitely one of my favorites it's just so perfect i'm actually just gonna get the food based ones out of the way first because i know they're just really random and like what so i did also get like a couple of bottles of prosecco i got a bottle of rose lemonade because that's my favorite and then i also got a bulk box of pickled onions <laughs> i guess i really don't need to say much about those but yeah i've got like 40 bags of my favorite crisps in the world which are pickled onion monster munch only the real ones no i guess while we're doing food stuff actually i'll tell you about we went out for dinner we went to the ivy in clifton we live in bristol and clifton is like a really nice area in bristol it's very like mm, a bit posh and there's ivies like all over the country but i've never been to one so i was really excited and i booked it like months ago um, but the inside of the ivy is just decorated really really beautifully the waiters are all sort of like trying to give you like that really posh experience so they're wearing like waistcoats and ties and stuff so it's really nice we i think i went yeah we both went for the set menu which was like three courses for about 25 pounds i think it was and um, so to start i had like this really nice copper ham it was called and so i'll put photos kyle had this salmon thing that looked really really lovely i had a steak and eggs for my main and that was gorge kyle had like these cod goujons that came with chips and they looked lovely uh, we shared a bottle of red wine to go with that and then i had oh we both had the blue cheese dessert we both kind of we like a cheese as a dessert rather than something too sweet but as we mentioned it's my birthday they also came out and brought us like a dessert well they brought me like a a large profiterole type thing with a candle and a little happy birthday badge stickery chocolate thing um, but i gave that to kyle because i didn't want to eat that and then we also got a glass of champagne each at the end because birthday but that was really lovely and then the waitress also was kind enough to take a really really nice photo of me and kyle that i put on my instagram the other day um of us like in the ivy with the bar in the background and all the flowers and it was just really lovely setting for a birthday dinner so if you're thinking about somewhere you might want to book for a birthday dinner definitely have a look at the ivy their menu is really 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 nice i think we've said that we're going to go back and try like some of their other foods because it just looks 
lovely and it was so nice to really treat ourselves and go somewhere a bit more posh then i also treated myself to so these are like presents to me from me um, but these are from look fantastic so i ordered myself a load of new makeup as birthday presents to myself so the first thing i got is the estee lauder double wear foundation which i've honestly wanted for such a long time and i could never really justify the price but i went for the shade ecru which looks pretty spot on although i did do the like online foundation match thing so hopefully that's going to be really good i'm planning on doing like a full face of new makeup because i got almost everything you would need for a full face of makeup in here so that's the first thing also in terms of base i got the Too faced born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer and i got this in the shade porcelain um i've used this lots of times to be fair it's just the absolute best and yeah i just i really needed a new one so i thought i'd treat myself to that then i also bought myself the nyx uh tinted brow mascara in the shade chocolate which might be a little bit dark i tend to go with brunette but the one that i used today is almost run out so i knew i needed a new one and they didn't have any in the shade brunette so i've gone chocolate so we'll just end up seeing if my brows look ridiculously dark or not but this is the best tinted mascara and i literally use it every single time i do my makeup and it's relatively cheap actually it's only about eight or nine pounds i think the next thing i got based on like loads of reviews on look fantastic but also just like instagram in general and also on the boots website as well so the maybelline sky high mascara is like massively massively highly rated and i've never used it before but i decided to try that so i think that the packaging does look like the better than sex mascara which i normally use actually so I don't know I think it looks like it's going to be really good the reviews do look really really good online so I'm excited to try that um but yeah it's like rated five stars and it wasn't even that expensive so where I would normally spend like 20 to 25 pounds on a mascara just to wear it to work every day I thought if this one is just as good then I'll be saving myself like a tenner so first time I try that definitely excited to see if it works well I'm quite lucky because my lashes are like pretty good but i don't know if that's because i just use a really nice mascara most of the time so hopefully that a drugstore one is going to be just as good and then the last two beauty things oh i'm very excited for these so i got the anastasia beverly hills lip liner in hazelnut which is like a nudie shade and then i also got the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in stripped so these are my first I've definitely used loads of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I've got the Soft Glam, which I use literally every day, but I don't think I've used anything else of their products because I find them a bit pricey. So that is the shade of the lip liner. I need to get a pencil sharpener, really. That's what that looks like. And then here is the liquid lipstick, which is a really lovely shade. They don't look like they're gonna be a great match, but I think that's a really pretty shade and I really do like just a, a very natural nudie colour like I only ever wear nudes I don't really go for brights anymore but those look absolutely gorgeous and hopefully based on the fact that they were like 20 quid each they're gonna be really good and stay on really well and be worth the money and not make my lips feel like chalk but we'll have to see then in terms of like beauty i also went and i got my roots done um by my hairdresser and it's a bit annoying actually because i've started having an allergic reaction when i get my hair bleached so the last two times i've been my face has gone all puffy and i'll put a photo in so like half the reason i didn't vlog is i wanted to vlog like the whole few days up until my birthday and then everything we did but at the hairdressers i ended up having a, like quite a bad allergic reaction even though i took antihistamines so the last time i went in and i had an allergic reaction and my face completely went like really red and i looked like dog the bounty hunter because <laughs> my roots were really pale and then my face went bright red and i was like oh my god like is it just because i've not got makeup on and i look really red now compared to my roots but no then my lips started swelling up and it just was not a look um so i ended up not vlogging that because it was just oh, i was just really disappointed that it happened again but i was absolutely fine i took another antihistamine when i felt my lips 
start starting to go and then I took like a 10-15 minute break before I put the toner on and it's turned out this absolutely beautiful beautiful blonde and I had a cut as well and I had it straightened so it looked absolutely gorgeous I love having my fresh roots done oh and I also went and got my nails done like literally as soon as I got out the hairdressers I then went and got my nails done just a nice muted like neutral pinky nude so really happy with those so i had all my beauty treatments oh my god i did so much for my birthday uh so the day before my birthday my dad came up and he came to um buy me like my joint family present so all of my family so my dad my stepmom my sister and my stepbrother and sister they all put some money in because i wanted this present which is kind of ridiculously expensive but so i am now the proud proud owner of this bag which i've literally wanted forever and i could never afford it because it's ridiculously priced but it's this amazing dot martin's backpack um i got it from the dot martin shop down in bristol city center in broadmead um, and yeah, it's just this really gorgeous backpack. Quite oversized. It's leather and it's got the traditional Doc Martens like threading, stitching and the yellow. I, I mainly needed this because with my new job, I have to take a laptop into work and my current backpack didn't actually fit everything I needed in there. So my lunchbox, my laptop and everything else. But this one is just so great because it's got the strap so you can wear it as a backpack, obviously. And then it's also got the handle on top so you can just carry it around like a handbag. Um, and it's got the different, like the main compartment and the front compartment. And it's just so beautiful and it'll just go with everything and I can use it when I go for weekends away. I can pack it up for like with my overnight stuff. I can probably take it on holiday with me for like a lovely daytime backpack. But yeah, this will just fit absolutely everything in. And I've just wanted it for such a long time. So it means such a lot that my family didn't look at what I wanted and go, what the f why do you want this like 180 pound bag? So I've got that now and I'm gonna look after it so well and it's my absolute baby. So me and my boyfriend are going in on like a pair of Dot Martin shoes for me as well. And um, they're not ordered yet because I spent so much money getting my hair done. Um, but yeah, Kyle has like put some money towards a pair of the Dot Martin Chelsea boots, which we haven't ordered yet but I'm gonna get those for like work as well. So those will be ordered once I get paid. But I wanted to do this video so I can start using all of these things. I didn't wanna have to wait until my other Dot Martin showed up. So those are also coming, but I don't have them to physically show you. So imagine. Then I also got given like literally about 5 million <laughs> like face masks and foot packs and hand masks and hair masks for my boyfriend's family and like these eye mask things. So these are gonna keep me going for probably about two weeks. <laughs> no, they'll last me literally ages. I love having face masks. Like I've literally got a massive stash in my drawer. So I like to always have them on hand and I think that they know that. And then I also got two of these L'Oreal Paris detox mask to the pure clay mask which i've not tried before and i always see them in shops and i really want to give them a go and so i've got the pink one which is to brighten and exfoliate and then i also got the black one which is detoxify and clarify so i'm really excited to try those i'll probably do one this afternoon while i'm like sitting on the sofa doing nothing <laughs> so those are all the presents and then yeah so before we went out for our reservation at the ivy for like a late lunch slash dinner. Uh, me and Kyle also took a walk around Bedminster, which is the area in which we live in Bristol. And they had Upfest last weekend, which is like a big graffiti festival, street art festival. Um, we missed the actual festival because we were away, but it was really nice too. We went and got a drink and then we walked around and took loads of photos of all the street art. So I'll put some of those up now. But it's really cool. Like artists come from all over to do these like pieces on these specific areas in Bedminster. So we always love walking around and whenever we go and do the food shopping, we walk past about five or six of these really cool pieces of street art. And it's, it's always really nice because they change them every year. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what the theme was this year, but they were really vivid and really colorful. And it's just really nice that we live in an area where they have this kind of festival. And it's just really nice that it's almost on our doorstep. So we went and did that and then we had a drink and then we came back and got ready to go out for dinner. And I just had such a lovely birthday. I felt really ill the day after. I really wasn't much good on the Wednesday following. I literally just sat on the sofa all day, but I had such a lovely time and 
it means such a lot to me. I got so many birthday wishes from people. I've got my best friend coming to stay next weekend for a long weekend, so I've booked some time off work for that. I mean, all I've been doing since Wednesday, like recovering from my hangover, I've just been playing loads of Sims and just tidying the flat. So I'm having like a really nice week off for my birthday. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my birthday and I hope you enjoyed seeing my presents. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for clicking on my face and I will see you in the next video.